it's a uh, Hananese chicken. Yeah. yeah. I was just walking past and saw this place uh, that does Hananese chicken. It looks very, very nice. And I'm sure it's ridiculously cheap too. I think it's, yeah, I'm not sure what the price is, but I'm sure it's amazing. That's something you don't see a huge amount of is graffiti, but when you do see it, it is very good. Now, Neiman, this area is quite a nice area. So this area is, is a bit more of an upmarket area, and people do have a little bit more money. So there are <coughs> there are other parts that aren't like this, obviously. Um, so Thailand isn't all just one way. There's there's obviously you know wealthy. There's there's poor. There's middle. There's you know, a variety. Everyone's got this perception that it's just only that, but it's this and that, if that makes sense. And I found another coffee place. What do you recommend? Uh, Maybe single or or this one? Okay. Yeah. We have two single origin. This uh dry process and honey process. Which do you recommend? Uh, I this one. Recommend this okay. One. That smells. It smells so good. These, these seats are so cool. Now this is a cool place. Pretty impressive. Look at this. Wow. And she made my uh, ice sphere. Have a look at that. So I guess what I'm going to do is put the ice in, put the milk in, and then the coffee, or the coffee then the milk. Incredible, right? Have a look at this. That is super, super impressive. Wow.
Espresso and it's on Nima High Minda Road Lane 12. I'll put all the details below. It's a bit of a mouthful, but wow, what a place. This is super cool. Something, this would work very well in, in Melbourne for sure. Now this is just one of many specialty coffee places in Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. This is a really good one. But th there's heaps of ones that are like similar to this, you know. But yeah, this is pretty impressive. I was just asking the guy before where uh, those manual coffee machines are, are made. Um, I thought maybe Italy, but they're actually made in London. Or the, yeah, in London. Um, really interesting, cool concept. Like a manual drip feeder, but you know. That, yeah. Wow, that was so good. What a good find. Didn't even know that existed. Ah, I love finding places like that. So the bill was 270 baht. Obviously, the prices do vary a lot depending where you go, but that was something special. Now this is the uh, pause hostel that I stayed at last time I was here. It looks like they've extended it and made it bigger. That was a, a pretty cool hostel. And it looks like there's another hostel next door called CMBC, just in here. So if you are on a budget, I would definitely recommend to, whoa, I definitely recommend to stay at a hostel. Not only because you'll save money, but you're gonna meet people. I mean, I can stay at fancy hotels, but who am I gonna talk to? Or who am I gonna meet? Not many people. So I would stay at a hostel. You can stay at the nicer ones, because they do vary. But yeah, definitely, that, that's what I recommend. Unless, unless you're with your girlfriend or you're with family, then stay in a hotel. But if you can, I would definitely uh, recommend hostels for sure, especially in uh, Asia. So right now I'm going to head back to the hostel, charge up my batteries, um, upload uh, the file from this to my portable hard drive. And I'll have a beer in the in the little outdoor area they've got there at the hostel. Chill out for a bit, and then I'll head out for for dinner. And I'll take the camera with me and um, show you a bit of the the nightlife in Chiang Mai. Today's Friday, so I'm assuming it'll be a little bit busier tonight. So let's see what happens. So thank you for watching. Um, I do appreciate that. Hi to all the subscribers, or to the new ones. G'day. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, which is over there. All right, let's get out of here. From passion fruit, ju healthy juice, from this mustache place. Yummy. All right, I'm heading back now.